Okay, I'm uh, doing a quick review of a HP DV7. It's a 17 inch H uh, desktop replacement with a full QWERTY size uh, keyboard with a numpad. Uh, the model I've got here is the uh, basically the oops, Core i7 model with the GT230. Um, I pretty much bought this to to replace my to replace my old uh, ThinkPad basically that's sitting there. Um, uh, needed something more powerful. Uh, could handle a bit of Photoshop and and, and uh, probably some light gaming. Um, so I mean, there's a few things I probably won't go into great detail or give you specifics about. One is uh, how heavy it is. I'm not too sure. I just stick it on the desk and away I go. And battery life. I'm not too sure exactly how to go. Uh, I've unplugged it for about an hour and I get to it gets to about 50% on light use. So I'll expect about two hours on um, light use there. Uh, with some peripherals plugged in. So I've got it hooked up at the moment with the HDMI cable. It's got one HDMI out, one eSATA, and three USBs across as well. Okay, got the usual trackpad there, um, touchpad with two buttons. Um, not going to use that because I've just got my wireless mouse right there. Okay, um, have a look at the thickness. Uh, if the light persists, I'm sorry it's a bit dark, but uh, oddly enough, it's still got a dark. It's still got a dial-up modem, um, so a bit, a bit weird that they keep that kind of technology in there. Does have gigabit Ethernet and wi um, wireless N networking. Uh, it's also got um, it's also got two hard drives, one here and one here, um, and um, uh, four gigs of DDR3, which is pretty good as well as a as well as a camera, a uh, webcam on top of the monitor there as well. So I'll go ahead and boot it up. Uh, it's, uh, I pretty much, I, the moment I got it, I formatted it. It came with 32-bit Vista, uh, Windows 7, sorry, and I put 64-bit straight on there um, to use the full 4 gig. So I'll turn that on. You can see the fresh, fresh boot. There it goes. So you got your power button, mute, uh, volume control slider kind of thing, media controls, and a wireless control button there to press and turn on and off. So you've got the OEM HP logo. Um, in this test, I'll um, I'll load up uh, Adobe CS4 from uh, Cold Boot, uh, Adobe Lightroom. Um, and um, load up some images just to show you how how uh, how it performs. Uh, the images are taken with a um, Canon 50D, which is a 15 megapixel camera. So the file sizes are approximately 17.1 um, megs in size. Uh, and go from there. I'm thinking of slapping an SSD as soon as I can afford one in there. Um, I've got a HP DM3 of an SSD and it's really hard to go back from that kind of quick loading. Um, there's a few few things that are starting up and that might be why it takes a while. I've got a lot of things starting up in the background. see but there's a few in the background there okay so it's still loading a little bit but uh, it, I think it's mainly the hard drive just doing all the work I don't think the CPU is at all being used okay so I'll do a quick rating I mean it's not a uh, a be all and end all rating, but Windows rates this computer rates at 5.9. You've got a 6.9 on the CPU, 7.3 on the RAM, a 6.4 on the graphics uh, on the Aero, and 6.4 on the gaming. And of course, the hard drive is the lowest at 5.9. So close that off. Alright, so we've got a cold boot um, and we'll start up uh, Adobe CS4 64 bit edition. And 
it's pretty much usable straight off the bat. I'll open. I'll open up the raw image. Now these images are sitting on my eSATA port. Open image. There you go, that's a 15 megapixel camera. Uh, 15, yeah, 15 megapixel image. Uh, just to prove it. That's at 100% basically. Okay. So we'll close that down. No. Nope. And we'll load up Adobe Lightroom now. That was pretty much immediate on that one. And all these are the same same size images, 15 megapixel. All pretty quick. Okay, so we'll close that off. Alright, uh, now what we'll, I'll quickly do is I'll play a um, Blu-ray. This unit does come with a Blu-ray player. Uh, got to use Power DVD 9 to play it. Um, basically, uh, the most I've put this computer under stress as far as processing wise is I've played a Blu ray and encoded a uh, compressed WMV at the same time. Um, I did get a frame skip probably once every, every uh, 20 seconds or so, but uh, it, that's pretty impressive in my book to decode Blu-ray and encode a video at the same time and only have a, a bit of a frame skip every 20 seconds. So that was pretty quick loading up the Blu-ray from a dead st standstill in the drive. Obviously, you can't see the quality because, well, you're watching it through an iPhone. But, uh, okay, so while I'm recording this screen, for example, I will load up um, Adobe Light, the Lightroom again. And uh, should see absolutely no slowdown. Okay, I'll load up a couple of tabs in Google Chrome. No problem at all. No slowdown. Okay. Now, in the next part of the test, I will um, I'll do a quick recording of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 to show, the, show off the 3D. So, it will be in part 2 of the uh, video.